Next, storytelling. I do have a lot of stories when I'm talking to my students. Um, I share stories, my personal stories, patient stories, my student stories, of course, being mindful of HIPAA. Um, I don't say names, just stories. But creating stories in your head, sticks in your head, especially if it's something that's funny and entertaining, okay? And if it's something that happened to you, a personal experience. So I do have a story about this drug. I always tell them stories during a pharmacology class. I want you to remember, that's why I had it in bold, that funny sticks in the head. And the funnier the story, the better the recall. So I've been fighting with myself whether I'm going to share this story or not. And my students right now here in class are smiling and they all voted, I think you should share this story. <laughs> Um, I am thinking that we're all adults here, 18 and above before you even start in the program or before you get licensed in other states. So I told them the story and they said, you have to share it during the session. And I said, I'm still debating, I'm still debating. But anyway, we're all in the medical field show and we're all adults here. So I'm going to tell the story. I said, this is how I remember Cialis when it came out. Cialis is a brand name and the generic is Tadalafil, okay? So Cialis brand, generic Tadalafil, okay? And it is for ED, erectile dysfunction. So I tell my students, when a man takes Cialis, okay, he goes, ta-da! And then that man can go to La La Land because he's gonna be fulfilled and fill his woman in. So they told me, you got to tell that story because they'll we'll never forget that story. And to this day, they're still laughing, but trying not to laugh <laughs> because I told them limit your movement and limit the noises because they're getting the audio. So I hope that helps. Funny sticks in the head. The funnier the story, the better the recall. Next. So again, there is a QR code on the top. I created a mobile app that had all the stories and audio lectures which I share with my students all the time. The broccoli story, the smoothie story, all of those you can find, just access that QR code and that's how you will find all the resources I'm talking about.